Welcome to the Browns. Um, today uh, I want to talk about the, um, the Hughes and Kettner uh, Tube Meister 36 amplifier. Uh, this is uh, one I've owned for about three years now and, and crucially it's, uh, it's almost out of warranty. Um, I had a kind of love-hate relationship with this, uh, with this amplifier over the uh, three years of ownership. <laughs> and I tend to use it as a, as a backup amplifier to my Fuchs, uh, which is underneath. Uh, and also yeah, I use it for recording um, because it is pretty, uh, uh, pretty quiet. Um, and, and it also has a, um, a DI out, so I can record it both through, through um, uh, uh, mic up through a speaker, but also I can uh, inject it directly into the uh, the mixing desk as well, uh, which is behind me now. You know, for the first 12 months or so, I, I had this amplifier, it worked fine, uh, and then it started to blow tubes. Um, I mean, Hughes and Kettner make these in China, and I suppose the, the quality of the Chinese uh, tubes valves as we call them in the UK here uh, is not great um, so after about 12 months it, uh, you know, it blew a fuse and it turned out to be uh, uh, faulty faulty valves faulty tubes sent it back uh, to Germany um, of course you know, tubes are not covered by the warranty are they because they're you know, like brake pads on your car they wear out don't they so well, okay, fine. You know, so I paid for a new set of tubes and it came back with a, uh, another set of cheap Chinese tubes. Now, um, just after it came back, I was uh, uh, taken quite ill uh, and uh, the amplifier didn't get used uh, really around from last September around to about uh, July this year. Uh, I've, I've been undergoing cancer treatment and I hadn't been able to play any music or use the studio much, but I started to feel a bit better. Um, I started recording again. Bang, the thing blew again. Well, I worked out actually, I'd only used it for about an hour. Uh, I worked, you know, it had been mended for nine months, it hadn't actually been used. Uh, same, same thing again. So I sent it back, and this time I refused to pay for this the new set of tubes. And then I said, come back from Germany now, and it has got a, uh, another set of Chinese tubes in it. Now, however, these are actually uh, branded Tube Doctor. Uh, when I Google that, uh, they are actually what they call selected tubes. So they may have had some kind of a test. I must admit, sounding good. Uh, and it's, I've used it for quite a few hours now. The tube's nicely burnt in it. It's sounding pretty good. Um, However, I think probably now, as it's coming out of its uh, warranty uh, next month, I'm actually going to buy a, um, a decent set of tubes, um, ones that are not Chinese. Um, so I'm currently researching that and I'll, I'll, I'll probably do that as part of another, uh, another film in the future. Now, whether it, whether it you know, improves the tone or just the longevity of the tubes, we'll have to wait and see. I think one of the problems with the using Kettner is that it does run run quite hot. Apparently, you know, the the the, uh, the metal top on it is actually uh, designed as a as a heat sink. But after a couple of hours, you could fry eggs on there, especially above the power transformer. So, but you know, they all seem to be the same. So, I'll have to wait and see. You know, there's not a huge. Uh, detail and resource on the on the internet about these amplifiers so I'm um, uh, I'm gonna do a quick review of this it's uh, it's got quite a nice clean channel so <laughs> 
As you can hear, uh, I'm running, running my um, uh, new X Cerberus uh, effect unit into this, and I've got a slight amount of drive in there just to drive it a bit harder, but it's, it's still nice cl and clean. I've got the, uh, uh, the game at about 3 o'clock and the master volume at about, no, sorry, 9 o'clock and the master volume at about 9.30. Um, I'm actually running on the on the full 36 watt mode at the moment. Now this amplifier is quite versatile as you can drop it from 36 down to 18 um, and then down to uh, uh, 18, uh, 9 watts and then any flashing on silent is actually got a, a full attenuator built into it. So I can actually have this on silent and still put it through uh, into the desk and still get uh, a uh, uh, I should record from it. However, uh, one thing I didn't realise when until I got it, you can actually run it to the speaker and the desk at the same time. So you can you actually can record the kind of dynamics uh, uh, interacting with the speaker as well. Um, and a lot of the time I mic it and do it direct and then mix the mix the signals as well. So uh, as I say it's got a clean channel. I'm running a bit of drive into it at the moment. <laughs> Uh, distortion from the pedal. Uh, you've got a light distortion on that, so it's not going to uh, to break up too much. But it just shows the. Uh, that's just on the on the edge. Now, obviously, I've got. Guitar here with single chord pickups. It's so uh, if I'm using the you know, Les Paul or the other guitar, I've got the 335 copy. Uh, it does drive it a bit harder. So uh, if I just knock that distortion off from there and then I'll go into the crunch channel uh, on the on the um, uh, the using Kepler. Now I've still got a bit of drive going from the uh, the floor pedal. Don't forget. So. the gain set quite low. So, so I want to reduce the master a bit, increase the gain. Uh, that's got a nice, nice uh, breaking up edge to it. Now, there is a lead channel on this where, where it's got lots of gain in it. I never use it, so you know, I'm not a metal player. I like a player. I play the country, rock, blues, funky type of stuff. Uh, I'm not into oodles of uh, feedback and uh, background noise. So. But this guitar just pick up a bit of a homemade Telecaster. It could do a better uh, thing. Uh, I'll spend back on the clean channel. Uh, it is um now I've got the um uh, my uh, floor my floor pedal my multi effects unit done on a full four cable connection here so I've got the uh uh, I've got the guitar going into the effects unit, picking up the drive, going out of the effects unit into the guitar, through the preamp section, back out again, into, uh, out of the amplifier, and back into the foot pedal modulation section, and then back into the uh, um, amplifier before the power section. So I can put um, modulation and delay and things on it, so if I know, uh, put the delay on. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty clean. I'm quite pleased with that. So, uh, 
and lots of like choruses and phrases and things. Eh? It's a bit of uni vibe there, you see. I'll do a separate, um, uh, a separate video about the uh, uh, the next Cerberus. Uh, it's not particularly common for pedal. Uh, I'm quite fond of this actually. So I'll put the guitar down and we'll perhaps take a more detailed uh, look at the controls on the amplifier. Right, working from um, uh, right to left. Uh, I've got the, got the input there. Uh, moment I'm running the uh, the effects unit into that to that input. Uh, and then we've got three channels, clean, crunch, and lead. And these provide various stages of extra gain. Uh, so the clean channel has got its own gain, master, EQ, bass, mid, treble, EQ. Uh, the crunch channel and lead channel uh, share an EQ section, but they've both got, the, got separate uh, gain and master, um, gain and master for the uh, for the lead section, and then that's the EQ bass, uh, mid and treble, um, and then you've got playing standby and on and off um, in that corner. Now, right, go around to the back of the uh, the amplifier. Uh, again, I'm going to work from right to left. I've got um, your mains in, uh, fuses underneath. Uh, speaker out, and you can run anything from 8 to 16 ohms, out of this. You've got your power soak, so uh, with the lights off, uh, you've got full 36 watts. Uh, you've got 18 watts, 5, five watts, uh, and 1 watt, which I think is probably different to what I said last time, but uh, I'm reading it off the back there. And then you can have it completely silent, so you can uh, run it to, uh, into... Um, uh, uh, it directly uh, into the desk without having the speakers on. So. Um, now this, uh, the, the four edge lights show that you find the four main power tubes are, um, are functioning okay. Obviously if I go on to a lower setting you'll see that, uh, where are we? Where are we? Uh, Some of those lights may blink, some of those might be switching on and off as we go in and out of the, uh, the various settings. So, um, I'll say if they, uh, that shows the state of bias as well. Uh, and next you've got the direct out, what's called the red box, uh, which is the uh, HMK attenuator. And that runs straight into the desk. Uh, I've got onboard reverb as well, which I'm not using at the moment because I'm using that reverb in the foot pedal. Um, and then you've got the FX loop, you can switch on and off there, so I'm running that in and out at the moment. Uh, there's also foot switches available for uh, the effects and the channels, so I can run, I can uh, switch the uh, reverb on and off or change channels uh, with a foot switch. I don't bother with that to be honest. So. Um, there's a MIDI in there. Now that, um, I say you can control the function of this via MIDI using MIDI Paddle or program it from, you know, from your computer. Uh, and then there's a, a MIDI Learn button, so um, uh, you press that to, to uh, match the, uh, the MIDI uh, control channel uh, function up with each of the functions on there uh, as you're using your pedal or your computer. Well, that's given a um, a good overview. Uh, not only do you get a nice amplifier, but you also get a nice uh, blue ambient light as well uh, for the studio, which is quite nice in it at night. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching this, and uh, and uh, look out for the, uh, the the Browns next video. Bye for now.